Hey there, this is Logan Crockett with Full Circle Music. I am coming to you from our recording studios here in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are here today to answer your questions about the music industry. So you guys asked us our recommendations for the top musical notation software. Maybe you need to get some sheet music written out for some sort of original song or arrangement. Well, I've got three recommendations for you. So the first software I'm gonna give you is a very, very popular choice, and that is called Sibelius. Sibelius is made by a company called Avid, which is the same company that makes Pro Tools. Um, so those can kind of live in their happy little world together if you're also a Pro Tools user. Um, but there are actually three versions of the Sibelius software and you can buy um, basically a more advanced version or a less advanced version just based on how intricate your needs are as it relates to musical notation. Uh, they also have an option similar to Pro Tools where you can pay for Sibelius uh, with a monthly license rather than paying kind of one fee to own it outright. Uh, so that can be a really good uh, choice based on your budgetary needs, but, but Sibelius is definitely very widely used. Um, so if you're looking for something that a lot of other people in the arrangement and composing community will be familiar with, Sibelius would definitely be a solid choice. The next one I'm going to give you, number two, is called Finale. This is also an extremely common software. They've been around ever so slightly longer than Sibelius by just a few years. Um, I believe Finale started in the late 80s and uh, Sibelius started in the early 90s. Uh, so a little bit of a longer, a little bit of a longer history. Um, and it is, to my knowledge, they don't have like a, a monthly, um, a way to purchase it on a monthly ongoing basis like Sibelius. And as a whole, to, to purchase Finale outright, it can be a little bit more expensive on, on the front end to do that. Um, I, I definitely know some people who have some mixed feelings on Finale, both um, Sibelius and Finale, and the third option I'm gonna give you in just a second. Uh, they, they all treat things a little bit differently. Um, but again, like a lot of people in the composing and arranging space are definitely very familiar with Finale. Uh, so definitely give that one a look. And then the third option that I'm going to give you is one called Note Flight. And for me, I, at this stage of my life, as a songwriter, I mean, I'm not deep in the um, arranging and composing space. I have some friends who are, and so they definitely use either Sibelius or Finale. For me, I often need simpler things. Um, and so I opt for a program called Note Flight. And part of the reason I really, really like Note Flight is because it's, it's free. There are versions of both Finale and of um, Sibelius that you can also get completely for free. Uh, but, but the other difference is uh, Sibelius and Finale both operate as kind of standard apps that you would download to your computer. Whereas the great thing about NoteFlight is it's actually a, a browser system. So you literally create a free NoteFlight account and then you log in and from anywhere that you ever are, as long as you have an internet connection, you can go ahead and create a, a sheet music. You can um, put in musical notation through NoteFlight. They do, uh, again, both Finale and Sibelius have free versions and of course more expensive paid versions. Um, NoteFlight does have a more expensive premium version that they do charge monthly for. Um, and so again, if your needs are more robust, you can definitely do something like that. For, but for a lot of my personal needs with just really simple stuff, um, the free version of NoteFlight is great. And I just love it because again, like I don't even have to download anything to my computer and I can access it um, really on any device or someone else's computer or anything at all like that. One other thing I want to note real quick is that, like I said, all three programs, Sibelius, Finale, and NoteFlight all do have um, different tiers and, and, more, and more expensive options. But the really great thing is all three of them also have free trials for all of those options. So if you're considering any of them, um, just checking out the free trial at first is a really good way to uh, get to play around with the software without any cost to you. And as far as choosing which software to go with, I would ultimately give the same advice. Um, download the free trials and just see which one you like the most. Um, maybe watch some YouTube tutorials and, and see how other people use it. Um, but just see that they, they all kind of just operate a little bit differently with how their menus work and how their key commands work and things like that. And in and, and a certain software, you might be able to input things a lot faster than another one. So yeah, go ahead and again, free trials, um, use that to try it out. Or again, like all of these have free versions, completely free versions, often limited, um, but free versions of their software that you can download and, and use to try out too. But really, that's how I'd make the choice is to literally get them, get all three, um, play with them and see what you like the best. We will, of course, have links down in the description below and we'll have links for um, all of the paid versions, all of the free versions and any free trials or other relevant links that we got for you. So make sure that you check that out. 
All right, thanks for watching. If you learned something, if this video was helpful to you, we really would appreciate it if you would go down there and hit that like button. It's super quick, super easy, super simple. And it does make us more friendly with the YouTube, so that would be awesome. But more importantly, we're actually doing a whole lot more videos just like this one where we are answering the internet's top questions about the music industry. And so if you aren't subscribed to our channel and it sounds like you would love to hear our answers to some other questions, then please subscribe so that way you don't miss those. Also, speaking of questions, if you have any more questions, maybe there was something you weren't sure about regarding this video, or you're wondering about a completely different topic in the music industry, go ahead, go down to that comment section and uh, write your question and let us know what's up and we would be happy to get back to you and answer that or maybe even make a future video about it. The last thing that I wanna let you know is that at Full Circle Music, our team has created an awesome resource for you, totally free, and it's just a free mini training class that teaches you exactly what to do if you really wanna have a career in the music industry. So if you would like to check out that free class, and again, it's totally for free, um, you can click right over here. And if you click on that button, then you should get immediate access to that class. And that would be really cool. Um, or if you would rather go and check out another video that answers a top question about the music industry, you can do that by clicking right up there.